Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a picture-in-picture -picture effect, both without animation and then with animation. And so the first thing you want to do is drag your clips down to your project timeline. So I already have one clip down here. So let's go ahead and add another video track. And then we're going to add our second track. And so this is the track that I actually want to do the picture-in-picture -picture effect on. Now, before I do that, let me show you how you, we're going to resize and reposition this video. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the clip at the bottom. So once you have this clip selected, you're going to go to your Filters tab. And you're going to add a filter called Size and Position. This is a video filter. So once you have that, you can adjust the values. So you could adjust this manually. Just put in whatever values you want for the position. And similarly, you could do the same thing for the size. Now I'm going to spend a little bit more on the size because there seems to be a bug with this version. And currently I am running version 20.04.12 at the time of this video. So let me show you what I mean when I think there's a bug. So down here, there's three different size modes. There's fit, fill, and distort. And so here we could change the horizontal or width value. And here we could change the vertical or height value. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and change it to 500. And if you notice, it adjusted it correctly. And the vertical value is still the same. It's at 1080p. And so you see this block all the way down. So if I go to another clip, you won't see that anymore. And on previous versions of Shotcut, if you clicked on Fill, what it would normally do is it would readjust your image so that it's in the correct aspect ratio. So it would maintain your dimensions. And the box is correct, but the video image is not. It just blew up the entire video image. And so I didn't see this in previous versions of Shotcut. So hopefully they will fix this in future versions. And so the last size mode is Distort. And so this takes whatever dimensions you put and it distorts the image or video. So we're going to go back to fit. So below that, we have horizontal fit. You could choose left, center, right. And then vertical fit is top, middle, bottom. So that's how you would actually put in the values that you want. But I think the easiest way to do this is to actually manually resize and reposition yourself. So you can easily do that by dragging things right here to resize. And then here, you could reposition it. That is really the easiest way to do picture in picture. And once I turn the other video back on, now we have our picture in picture. Super easy to do, really quick. Now this is a picture in picture where you actually have no animation. And so the next thing I'm going to show you is doing a picture in picture with animation. And then finally, I'm also going to show you some additional features uh, that come with the actual size and position filter that's really going to save you a lot of time. So what we currently have right now is a static picture in picture, meaning that our clip is already in the right position and size that we want from the beginning of the clip to the end. But what if you wanted to add some animation that allows us to transition into picture in picture and then transition out? So we can do that by using keyframes. And so the first thing you want to do is select your clip and then you want to go up here and reset the values. So you can go over here to reset to default for position and size. And now we're back to its original dimensions. And now we're going to come down here to our keyframes tab. And in this case, I want to see both my keyframes and my timeline at the same time. So we can do that by coming back to keyframes and going up here and then dragging it down here to the left. So now we have both our keyframes and timeline view at the same time. And why this is important is that you want to know where your bottom clip or image is. So that way, whenever you're doing your picture in picture, the video or image below it is still there. So that's why that's important. So now we can add our animated keyframe. So we're going to go ahead and resize and reposition just like we did before. We'll just manually do it. Drag it over here. And now if we go back to the beginning of our clip. It's very similar to what we had before. It's already at the position of size at the beginning. But the big difference now is that we actually have simple keyframes. So this is where it starts. And so if you drag it to the right, that means it's going to take longer to get to this position and size. And if you drag it over to the left, it makes it shorter. So let's see how it looks like. So we start off with a zoomed out view. And then it goes into our picture in picture view, which is exactly what we want. And it looks a lot better than our static picture in picture. And now we can also add an ending keyframe where we could transition back out to the zoomed out view. So the easiest way to do that is to go here and set the filter in. And very similar to the first keyframe, 
you could drag it out or shorten it. So let's see how this looks like. So we start out with the zoomed out view, goes to picture in picture, and then it zooms out. So that's how you would do a very simple keyframe animation for your picture in picture. But now there's one other way in which you could add animation by using more advanced keyframes. So before I do that, let's go ahead and reset our values. So I'm going to go back to the original value. And now you see this right here, use keyframes for this parameter. So this will allow you to use more advanced keyframes. So I want to go ahead and add a keyframe. Let's just say around right here. So let's go ahead and add this advanced keyframe. And now we can add another keyframe with the whole picture in picture view. So we'll adjust it manually like we did before. So we'll go right here. And then also we want to go ahead and zoom back out. Go here. I'm going to add another keyframe. I'm going to slightly change the size of this. Then I'm going to add one more keyframe to zoom back out to its original value. So we'll go here, reset everything. So let's see how this looks like. This might be really fast whenever it zooms in and out. Let's see how this looks like. Okay, picture in picture, zooms out, done. And we can also extend this as well. So let's make this whole thing longer and we could move the keyframes around. So this is going to be a lot slower. But it's going to go to picture in picture. It's going to stay there for longer. And then it's going to start zooming back out. And then we can add one more keyframe where we're just moving it around to a different position and size. Let's just go right here. And then we're going to zoom back out one more time. Let's just say right here. We'll go back to its original dimensions. So let's see how this looks like. Zooms in picture in picture. And then zooms back out, then goes into another position, then zooms back out. <laughs> so by using the more advanced keyframes, you have way more control, and it also allows you to be more creative in your animations as well. So that's how you would do animations for your picture-in-picture -picture using both simple keyframes and more advanced keyframes. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So the last feature I want to go over is something that could save you a ton of time, and that is the size and position presets. So if you go down here to your preset dropdown, there are a ton of presets already built for you. So if you choose something like bottom left, uh, bottom right, you get a pre-built picture in picture, and at the same time, you could adjust any of these values. And there's also animations as well, you could choose slide in from the left. So if you go to the beginning of your clip, it's now going to slide in from the left. And there's other animations as well. And so what they've effectively done here is under your keyframes, they've already built some animations for you. And as I stated earlier, you can adjust any one of these. And so this will save you a lot of time and will allow you to quickly add some cool picture in picture effects and animation. So that is it for my tutorial on how you create a picture in picture, both a static version, animated version, and also using presets that you can actually adjust. So if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do picture in picture, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you want to see more of my shortcut tutorial tips and tricks, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.